This is what the mornings look like. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, oh, good morning. morning. We wake just like up like this every morning. <laughs> That's why I heard like this rooster. Just the wake legs, yep. Yep. Wake everybody up. Oh. Kisses. Everybody get kisses. Yeah. Right there. Oh yeah, I have to go pee. And then they all rush to the door to go pee. As fast as physically oh. possible, it seems. You make There's a move one. out. <laughs> go boo bears. Go boo bears. Oh, puppy scratches. Anyways, looks like the weather cleared up. Looks like we're leaving for a Vulcan. So change of plan. We're going to be heading to the Benjamin Islands rather than Little Current, just because we have to be in Surgeon Falls for Wednesday of next week. So it, I don't want to rush Little Current's adventure. So after we're done with Sturgeon, then we're going to head out to Little Current after that, and then possibly Killarney if everything goes well. As for today, we have zero wind, no sands. Jane is able to read her book today, and we're cooking steaks and taters. So tonight we're going to be at our pit stops going to be Bear Drop Harbor. Leave. and then tomorrow we're going to try to make it to Little Detroit and then from there uh, Benjamin, South Benjamin Island apparently that's the one that's the most beautiful um yeah other than that we motoring So we're at uh, Bear Drop Cove. Oh, it looks like Katrina just got a fish. No? Weeds? Oh. Yeah, it's these weeds. They're tough. Anyways. So we're here now. Boat's down there. It's, it's really pretty here. Just the rock formations that are everywhere. And like this nice little channel. Got nice little weed beds for the pike fishing that we do. A really nice spot. Yes. What did you just catch, Trina? My first pickerel. Yay. You're gonna lose it over the boat. <laughs> Not a chance. Oh my gosh. It's pretty good size. Maybe what three pounds? Uh maybe not, but no, that's a good fish. This one we're gonna eat. Good size, not too big, not too small. It's a good one. Yeah. The sun's going down now. You can really see our boat now. Off in the distance. Yeah. She don't focus too well. But yeah, so the uh, the back part of Bear Drop is uh, we're catching all these fish, we're catching hammerhead, pike, and We've seen some bass, we haven't caught any. Um, and then, yeah, pickerel on a spoon, like, that never happens. That's a good size. Yeah, it's a good one. Right on. The mosquitoes are on a whole nother level here. I've never seen it this bad. We got tape on our mesh. Like, it is so bad. They were getting into the cracks through the front door also. Like... I'll tell you this much. I do not miss mainland camping. We're gonna get chewed on like There are so many mosquitoes inside here. You can probably hear Trina slapping away. 
This is this is insane. Well, it's about 9:30 in the morning. We just left a bear drop. We're on our way to Little Detroit, and if everything goes smooth and we make good time, we're gonna actually make it to Benjamin today. It makes for a long day, but it'll be I feel worth worth getting it over with. So we're coming through the Whales Back Channel. It's just littered with little islands and rocks. So that's where we came from right there. We got all these little islands to navigate through. The winds are okay today, so we're gonna lift some sails. Just trying to get my bearings and then uh, plot my course while we have the iron sail up. And uh, navigate through this shit show. It's pretty amazing that we're able to get this close to an island and it's still like 60 feet. Oh wow, she's dropping pretty quick. But still. It looks like we're about like 100 feet off of it. So that's John Island just behind this island there. So when we're on those long adventures, like we got like a, we still got about maybe six hours of sailing to go. We gotta make pet stops for these freaking animals. These, you launch the dinghy. You basically just do UEs. About six miles away from the Benjamins. Uh, the wind kicked up like bad. I got like 30 kilometer gusts and we got across the big water and we just crossed it over here. And it was, the Coast Guard came on too and said strong wind advisory, small craft advisory or something, something along those lines. So we're gonna duck out in this bay here. I think it's called Eagles, Eagles Point or something along that line. Anyways, if the wind dies down, we're gonna proceed. If not, we'll probably do it tomorrow morning when the wind shifted from the east. And uh, yeah, fuck do I ever hate big waves, man. So it's 6.30 right now. We're just leaving Eagle Island Anchorage on the east side. And now we're headed to the Benjamin Islands. We got about four miles to go. Roughly should take about an hour or so. And then uh, we're gonna stay there for two days and then head on back. So we made it to the Benjamins. It was uh, packed like everywhere we went. And then we found this little bay here and uh, got a little lucky. Everybody's kind of anchoring around us now. This has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Like it's just like, it's like the Badlands. Turquoise water. And I mean, we got an overcast sky. Look how nice that is. Who's able to run tomorrow? So we gotta make this quick. Cause she won't pee or poop on a leash. Last night, before we got off those little islands there, we were at the Benjamins. And that guy came and anchored right beside us. Well, I guess he didn't realize I had like 200 feet of chain out. Anyways, we just about swung into him. So we pulled out, changed locations. Um, the wind was just giving her so basically when the wind shifted overnight for the east we were going to hit another island so there wasn't enough room for us to anchor unless we were anchoring in like 30 feet so basically we got kicked out of our freaking spot 
to jump across to Kroger Island, pretty much in front of this guy's camp. And the Benjamins all the way over there. Anyways, we didn't get the anchor down until about 10:15. There's no lights left. The mosquitoes were just a just a given her. Terrible experience that was. I mean, the Benjamins are beautiful, but there's nowhere to anchor. It's all packed, and it's not very good coverage either, from what we've seen. So I don't know what the game plan is today. We might. We might start heading back and then hanging out around Little Detroit again. See how that all goes. Or we'll just do the eight hour trip and just kind of almost make it back to Sprague kind of area. Haven't made a decision yet, but the winds are going to sh- Oh look, a beaver! Anyways, the uh, winds are supposed to shift to the southeast, and we don't really have enough swing room. We'll probably end up into that island, so we got to make a decision quite quick, and then we'll get out of here. Trina's making the Java, and then we're out of here, I guess. Divine Madness, Divine Madness, Divine Madness, approaching Little Detroit in a 29-foot sailing vessel heading west. So this place is called Little Detroit. It's, uh, it's narrow. It's shallow. It's like everything you hate. It doesn't show well. But like, look at the waves just get all weird, eh? Cause it gets really shallow. We're gonna dial her down a bit. Yeah. Here, you take this. Vultures. I think. Maybe eagles? Oh, they're right there. That is fucking cool. Alright, Cody doesn't like me coming up here when there's big waves, but I was definitely careful. Um, pretty big swells. And you can see a lot better of how narrow little Detroit is. How close we are to the sides. But we're almost out. Should be safe. Just coming out of little Detroit. So most people, when they come out of Little Detroit, they go right up in there. And up there is Spanish, a little town called Spanish. So they head that way, however, we are going there. Okay, wait, I lied. So we're not going here, we're going here. We are gonna have to let the dogs go to the bathroom really soon. Um, we're just gonna look for the best place with no wind. And then I'll be able to take the, uh, the dinghy out and let them go and, and run for a little bit. So we'll let you know how that goes. So we 
sailed from Bear Drop to Turnbull. And we met up with all the weekend warriors. Um, we've been out here for about six days now. We are totally exhausted of supplies. We have no food left. Even our cans are done. Um, ice is all long gone. What else? We still have fresh water. We managed to use the lake, utilize the lake for everything, like washing dishes and whatnot. Um, sewage seems good. We have uh, no sting coming into the cob, which is a bonus. Um, yeah, next week. I don't think we'll be doing very much sailing, maybe a couple day sails, that's about it. But uh, we put on a roughly about 125 nautical miles. And most of that was sailing, which is impressive because as you see today, there's no wind. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's been great. Like, we've only motored for maybe like five, six hours out of the whole whole six days was a bonus. We barely burnt any fuel, which is awesome. We finally got the engine running right to the point where I can actually monitor fuel levels. And we didn't burn much, and I'm quite impressed. Um, yeah, other than that, the boat's holding well, and we're having a blast out here. <laughs>